Hi, today I'm going to explain you how to use lists in MicroPython. Uh, this tutorial will work both on the ASP8266 and on the ASP32. In this case I'm doing the, the test on the ASP32, but you can test it uh, in, the, in the other device. So, lists are one of the, the main Python um, uh, basic types, uh, which has a lot of flexibility and uh, is very useful for anyone learning both Python and MicroPython. Uh, in order to use MicroPython and take full advantage of its capabilities, it's important for us to, to know the, uh, its basic data structures. So, we'll start by lists, and this tutorial will just introduce the simple syntax. So, if I want to create a list, I just do, for example, my list, a variable, a equals to and I put square uh, square parentheses or square brackets and then I separate each item of the list by commas so I'm declaring a list of integers as you can see here so in order to confirm that this is a list we can use the type operator uh, to print the type of this variable so we will print type my list and here we go the class is list uh, just by curiosity, if you want to create an empty list, empty list, we just put uh, the parentheses, the, the square parentheses, and uh, we don't put any element inside. So this is an empty list that we can later use to add a new element. So now that we have a list, uh, one of the, the basic functionalities is accessing elements of that list, and uh, the simplest one is by using uh, again the square parentheses. So my list, the for example zero. Note that uh, lists are uh, their indexes are zero based. So the first element is the element zero. So we have one. For example, if I if I access the element in index one, we have two, uh, because as I said, lists are zero based. Note that something that is very interesting about lists is that we can actually use the negative indexes. So, for example, uh, minus one is the last element of the list. So, if I do my list, the minus one, I get seven, which is the last element of my list. Um, this this uh, is something that uh, some languages doesn't have, but Python and in this case MicroPython, uh, they are both very versatile, and this is very interesting. Um, just to show you another another uh, operator that is very useful for lists uh, is the append uh, the append method. So if we want, we can append um, something to our empty list. So I'm going to print it just to confirm that it is empty. Empty list. Okay. Now if we do empty list dot append, and in this case, let me use another another type of uh, of uh, object, a string. Hello, and then empty list dot append by, and now I'm printing the list, empty list. It is no longer empty, of course. And here we go. We have the two different, um, the two new uh, objects inside the list. Other interesting thing about lists that uh, other languages, uh, for example, not have. Not all languages have this feature. Is that we can have lists of different type of objects. So I'm creating now a list with uh, both uh, uh, integers and um, and strings, and even another list nested inside. So multi objects list is equal to one two, then hello, then I'm putting inside another list of integers. So if I print it, multi object list we go we have our list um, with our with our uh, uh, different elements inside so this is just a, a very simple introduction I will be doing some more uh, some more uh, videos on lists um, hope you have liked it and uh, please subscribe if you liked for more videos and more stuff about the SP uh, 32 and the SP 8266 thank you